OG for a couple of days now and wanted to share my thoughts. I think it's crazy that in 2023, Wise is releasing a camera for $20. The OG in the name is a throwback to the original Wise Cam, which also released for $20. And I don't know if they know anything about inflation going on right now, but it's insane that you can pick up a camera with as many features as this has for the cost of about 18 eggs. Surely a camera that costs $15 less than the current Wise V3 camera should be missing out on a bunch of features, right? Well, in my testing over the past couple of days, I really think that you're getting almost all of the great features of the V3 camera for nearly $15 less. The video quality coming out of the OG cam is really similar to the version 3. I'd say overall that the version 3 has slightly darker blacks and the OG sensor seems to like the highlights a bit more, but overall I think both sensors are great. The OG shoots in 1080p at 20 frames per second during the day and 15 frames per second at night, and it has a 120 degree field of view, which is slightly narrower than the V3, but overall I think it's pretty good. Despite the version 3 and the OG camera's quality being very similar during the day, it's a different story at night. If you have the spotlight turned on, you'll get really good clear images out of the OG at night. But if the spotlight isn't turned on, I found that the image quality isn't as good at night as it is on the V3. I think this has something to do with the sensitivity settings, where on the V3 you had multiple options for night vision uh, being cl close and far away, whereas on the new OG camera that doesn't exist. One of the big claims with the OG camera is that it will load 50% faster than the V3 cameras, and I've placed a version 3 and an OG in multiple places around my home and found that they typically load in about the same amount of time. And actually, sometimes the version 3 is a little bit faster, and sometimes the OG cam's a little faster. It really is a toss-up, and I wouldn't say that it's 50% faster. Speaking of pulling up a video stream, Wise continues to say that you can view these cameras on Alexa and Google Home speakers with displays. This, in my experience, is still super slow, even with the OG camera. If this is a feature that you're looking for, you're probably gonna wanna look for a camera elsewhere. The OG camera, like many other Wise cameras before, also will let you record 24 by seven to a built-in micro SD card. While this is great, I still think it would be better to record locally to a device secured inside of your home. So again, I'm gonna put in my plug wise, please release the Max Drive or something similar to it. One of the other big claims that Wise is making with the OG camera is improved two-way audio. And I did find in my testing that the audio was just a little bit better with the OG versus a V3 camera. But again, I don't really think this is a feature that a ton of us are using. It's slightly improved here and I think it's great, but if you're using this for something, please let me know down in the comments below. This is a test of the OG cam audio. This is a test of the V3 cam audio. Another big claim on their site is that notifications will come up to three times faster from this camera than from previous cameras. I put a version three camera up against the OG camera and found that notifications still come in in about the same amount of time. I'm not really seeing any major improvements, but I am happy to see that Wise is using the pigtail connector on the back of this camera, just like the V3, which is way better than the proprietary ones on the V3 Pro and the Cam Pan. At the same time that the OG camera was released, Wise also announced an OG telephoto camera. I thought about ordering one of these, but I thought about the different areas that I could place it around the home and where it might be useful, and I really couldn't think of a specific scenario. So if you can think of one down below, please comment. But my concern was that given the narrow field of view, you need to have something specifically come into that specific area of a frame in order for it to be useful. And like car license plates coming in on the driveway, that sort of thing, I really think that it's just too narrow to be useful. Overall, I think the version three camera is great but there are a few reasons why I think it would be worth spending the extra $15 to get the version three camera. The first of which being that in this case, the OG camera does not support cam plus light, meaning if you want free person detection, you're not going to get it. You're going to have to subscribe to cam plus if you want to get person detection notifications. 
I think this is kind of insane in 2023. I think all cameras being released should include person detections as standard for free. And then the additional features like detecting a package, a pet, a vehicle, those sort of things could be add-ons that cost a little bit extra. But most of us are buying these cameras with the intent of detecting people. And we wanna know when there's people, not trees blowing in the wind or bugs and birds moving around. So I really think that person detection should be free. And if you want to use Cam Plus Lite, in order to get free person detection, you're gonna need a V3 camera, which easily justifies that $15 extra spend over the course of a couple of years. The other missing feature here is the magnetic base. I know in order to save costs, some changes needed to be made, but I really do love the magnetic base. It allows you to mount the camera in so many additional places. One of my favorite being on the underside of your garage door opener. Um, I'd love to see that magnetic base come back and I definitely think it's worth an extra buck or two to have it. Overall, at just 20 bucks, I don't think you're gonna find anything as good as the Wisecam OG. It's kind of insane that for just $20, you get all of these features packed in when even comparing this to something that was released several years ago before all of the inflation and increase in prices didn't get you nearly as many features even from Wise. I think it's great that this camera can be used both indoors and outdoors. I think the sensor is great. The spotlight is awesome. Really, there's just tons of features here for $20 that it's a no brainer if you're looking for a cheap camera. Just know that you're gonna have to spend a couple bucks extra every month in order to get useful notifications from the Cam Plus subscription. Overall, I think Wise did a great job here and you won't have any regrets purchasing this camera. Those are my thoughts on the Wise Cam OG. As always, I purchase these cameras with my own money. I don't receive anything for free from Wise, and I don't get any sort of kickback for referring people to purchase these products. I really just wanna share my overall thoughts and opinions with you guys and have a meaningful discussion down in the comments below. So if you have any sort of feedback on the Wisecam OG or your experience, please share it down below. Thanks for watching.